Hello YouTube, Luke here next to gameplay for my uh, deck recipes and deck profiles. Uh, this time it's a Spellbook Prophecy deck. Uh, yeah, it's uh, one of my favourites anyway. So, start off with uh, two High Priestess of Prophecy, three Spellbook Magician of Prophecy, three Temperance of Prophecy, and one World of Prophecy. Nine monsters, yep. And 22 spells, two Mystical Space Typhoon, two Pot of Duality, three Spellbook Library of the Crescent, two Spellbook of Eternity, two Spellbook of Fate, one Spellbook of Life, one Spellbook of Pet. Power, three spellbook of secrets, two spellbook of the master, two spellbook of wisdom, and two the grand spellbook tower, nine traps, bottomless, two fiendish chain, two mirror force, two phoenix wing, solemn warning, torrential tributes. Okay. Alright, so start off with the monsters, uh, high priestess of prophecy, two of them, you can reveal three spellbook cards in your hand, so any three, and you can special summon it. Once per turn, you can banish a spellbook card from your hand or graveyard, then target a card in the field and destroy it. So yeah, it's a very nice card, and it's, yeah, pretty much it. <laughs> really, yeah, it's a really good card. Okay, anyway, I'll start off with this guy. Uh, when this card is normal summoned or flip face up, add a spellbook card from your hand. So any spell card will go through combo soon. But uh, one thing to do is yeah, he's also. Secrets, you can bring that to you. Oh, it's any spellbook card, but you can do is that if you want. Anyway, a three temperance of prophecy during your main phase. If you have activated a spellbook spell card previous this turn, you can tribute this card, special summon one level five or higher light or dark spell cast type monster from your deck. You cannot special summon a level five or higher monster during the turn you activate its effect, so you either tribute him and you summon either high priestess or world from your deck. And world when this card is special summoned by the effect of a spellcaster type monster or a spellbook spell card, you can target two spellbook spell cards in your graveyard. Add those targets to your hand. You cannot special summon other monsters during the turn you activate this effect. Uh, when you add to your hand by this effect, you can reveal four spellbook spell cards different names in your hand and destroy all other cards on the field so it's kind of like a judgment drag it's uh pretty good yeah um anyway start off with uh space typhoon so uh, destroy spell trap cards two positive valley because you don't always special summon now three start off with spellbook cards now three spellbook library in the crescent if you have no spellbook spell cards in your graveyard reveal three spellbook cards with different names from your deck your opponent randomly adds one them to your hand and shuffle the rest back in your deck. You can activate one of these per turn. You cannot activate any spell cards the turn you activate this card except for spell cards. Try to remember that because I messed up in the last game is actually I couldn't play this card in my hand because I played one of these first. So um, forgot about that effect. Anyway, uh, so this is good if you get it first turn. Uh, some people run it at two, some at three. Um, I think I might run it at two next time. I don't know. See what happens, but it's good if you get it uh, very first turn. You can activate this, target three other cards, and you get a, and you get one by random. Anyway, uh, two spellbook of eternity. Target one of your better spellbook cards. Except spellbook of eternity, and add that target to hand. You can activate one spellbook of eternity to a turn, so you either remove them by priestess effect or by fate. If you control a spellcast type monster, you can banish up to three spellbook spell cards in your graveyard to apply this effect, depending on the number of spell cards banished from this card's activation. But you can only activate spell once per turn. You can only activate all spellbook cards once per turn. But okay, I'll show you. There will be a trick soon. Uh, return one. If you get banish one, return one set spell or trap card on the field to the hand. Two, change one monster on the field to face down position. Face down defense position or face up attack position. Or three, banish one card you can find controls now. The first one, if there's a noise, if you know what a set spell or trap card is, then that's good because you can banish one and get rid of it if you already know what it is. If you don't know, well. And now, change one monster on the field from face down to the position or face field to face down or face up.
Right, now this works well with this guy because when it's normal summon or flip faced up, add a spellbook card. Let's just say he's on the field. You, s you normal summon this guy, he only has 500 attack. And some big monster attacks you, or any monster. You can use this, put him face down, and you don't take dam any damage, and his effect will activate, and you can add a spellbook card. Third one, just banish a card from the field. Your opponent controls any, any card. Now, Onto the rest, Spellbook of Life, banish one spell, cast a type monster from your graveyard, and reveal one other spellbook card spell in your hand. Target one spell, cast a type monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target in face up attack position and equip with this card. The equip monster's level is increased by the level of the monster that was banished. This card's activation return, so it's a good thing to do if you want to get a high priestess back. Maybe one of these. Summon, or even this one, activate its effect. One, a uh, spell book of power. Target one spell cast type monster you control until the end phase, it gains a thousand attack. Also, until the end phase, each time it destroys an opposed monster by battle, you can add one spell book spell card from your next hand. And of course, only once per turn. So, equip this to something big. Uh, even that one, that's. Um, uh, not normally on him since he'll only go to 1500, but they'll go to 35 and will to 39. You equip them and you get a free one by destroying a monster. Spellbook of Secrets. Uh, add one spellbook card from your deck to your hand. Instead of Spellbook of Secrets, you can only activate one spellbook of Secrets per turn. Now, this is a card. It's got a bit of a trick to it. If you control a spellcaster type monster, you can reveal one other spellbook card. Hand and target one spellbook normal spell card in your graveyard except the master and this card's effect becomes that target's effect. I'm going to do it once per turn. So let's say I play this and I search. This is in the graveyard. Normally you can activate these only once per turn but I activate the spellbook of the master. This becomes spellbook of secrets and so I get two searches in the turn. Or it can be used in other different ways like I might play Library of the Crescent. So I play Library of the Crescent. And then I play this, and this also becomes Library of the Crescent. Uh, Fate, uh, that's uh, Eternity, is a normal card as well. And so is Spellbook of Power, so I can double up on power on one single monster if I wanted to, or put on two. So if I, let's just say I got my High Priestess on the field, play one power, Spellbook of Master Power onto that one, it destroys a monster. I search for two cards. It's, it's a very good card. Now, Spellbook of Wisdom, target one spell to cast top monster you control on the field, activate one of these effects. That face up monster is unaffected by other spell cards. That face up monster, or that, fa this, that face up monster is unaffected by the traps. But that's, um, it, uh, that's like, it's kind of like a Forbidden Lance sort of thing. It only affects you for one of them, but you know, it's a good card since you can choose one or the other. And now the Grand Spellbook Tower. Once per turn, during your standby phase, if you have a spellcaster type monster on your side of the field or in your graveyard, you can return one spellbook spell card from your graveyard to the bottom of your deck. Except this card, then draw a card. So basically, during your draw phase, if you got the conditions right, you basically you drew two cards in that turn normal draw phase and then this card will give you another card so it just uh, gives you a lot of card advantage and when this card is destroyed by your opponent's card sent to the graveyard you can special summon one spellcaster monster from your hand or deck whose level is less than or equal to the number of spellbook cards in your graveyard so depending on the number get that, that one there or if you're lucky maybe even her I should have one seven anyway uh, yeah, but that's a uh, good card. Uh, traps, uh, bottomless trap hole, two fiendish chain to stop your opponent monsters doing stuff. Two mirror force protection, uh, two phoenix wing. You can uh, ditch cards like uh, if you draw that, it's uh, basically a dead card. You can send it to the graveyard with that. Maybe bring it back with life or something. Also them as well. They become dead if you got cards in your graveyard. Spellbook. So you can send a monster back on top of the deck. 
Yeah, by ditching your dead card. Um, Soul of Mourning. Torrential Tribute. Oh, so I forgot about the extra deck, didn't I? Uh, not that I, your normal. Not that you do this much, but Armored um, Kappa, uh, Digusto Phoenix. I think I might have actually summoned this guy once. Uh, once per turn, you can detach one material from this card, target one face up wind monster you control, it can attack twice. So discard card, Digusto Phoenix attacks twice. I mean, so, sometimes. I, no, I think I might have exceeded summon. I think it might have been the only one I summoned. Can't remember. Uh, Gachi Gachi, a uh, Guy Dragon, Ghost Trick Alucard. Herald of Pure Light, now Hero of Fent of Prophecy, two level 7 spell castle type monsters. Once per turn, you can detach one uh, material from this card, destroy spell or trap cards your opponent controls up to the number of spell cards in your graveyard, so you can just wipe out an entire field with spell and trap cards of theirs. Ah, Draco Sack, Liquid Engineer, Big Eye, Leviathan Dragon, Giga Brilliant, Dark Mist, Tem Tempo, and one of their mates. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a very fun deck to use because there's a lot of combos and plays you can use with it and a lot of options. So anyway, um, yeah, that's um, it for today, so until next time, uh, thank you for watching and see you again soon.